hello guys welcome back to another episode of our video okay in today's video we're going to be talking about more of short circuits troubleshooting dead board okay if you're coming across this channel for the first time this channel will discuss about phone repairs electronic repairs and other telecommunication gadgets repair okay we'll discuss more on electronics computers and phone troubleshooting okay so in today's video i'm going to be using this video um to show you a clear experiment of another aspect of short circuit okay this mobile phone is not powering on okay so after some examination we discovered that this is experience is experiencing a full shot okay so the video has been made before um we i'm just um re voiceovering it okay so if you have not um subscribed to this channel yet you're a new member please do where to subscribe at the end of this video if you see this video um helpful please um like and comment below okay and if you've not joined my vip class you should join because you're missing a lot most of the explanation of most things are not done on my youtube channel okay we explain more on my youtube on my vip class so if you have not joined you should probably join the group it is very very important okay okay so without what i do let's speed up this video for you to see the main points of our sm experiment okay in this um video we use um three logic um basic two we use our schematic diagram okay we use um the the um multimeter and also we use the short killer so so you just pay a full attention to this um explanation and you're going to understand the procedure or how the troubleshooting was made okay the team has already discovered that the shot is coming from a particular point okay we, so to speed up this video i'm not going to bring out that part okay if you want to know learn in detail how to locate a short circuit you can join my vip class to know that so now once i've already uh, known where the point of the shot is coming from i launched my schematic diagram and i know that the point of the shot is coming from a particular capacitor so i want to know the line in the um the where is the shot is coming from from our schematic diagram so with the schematic diagram i discovered that the shot is coming from the pp3v0 line so and that pp3 zero line is connected to a cpu and as i've clicked there anywhere you see where that is where it's connected to so using the schematic diagram and it's also connected to the power ic as you can see there's a red symbol there that is one of the reason why the mobile phone is not turning on okay that shot is connected to the power ic so using a schematic diagram we already known that so i'll be using also a short killer to detect the mobile fault okay already we know um where the shot is coming from but i'm just for the purpose of this video i'm going to be showing you guys again so i'm going to vary the vote of the short killer to 2.4 voltage and i'll be injecting that voltage to the logic board okay already i've already applied my freezing spray on the logic board so i've clipped the black probe to the ground and the red positive probe i'll use it to look for where the shot is coming from so watch carefully so as you can see once it's connected to that cap um this capacitor particular capacitor is um, within some sec it's generated heat and melted the freezing spray so that is where the shot is coming from okay so i'll be replacing that capacitor and to see if the mobile phone will start working okay already this video has been made already so it works but i'm just for the purpose of this video i'm just recapping it okay so let's go okay from the schematic diagram the part number of the 40 capacitor is c0613 so we're going straight to replace that particular capacitor that is 40 so remember i'm applying my heat already on the logic board in order to soften the black accessive that is um adhesive that is close to the capacitor okay now um carefully bring out those and apply some little flux then heat um, the bad cap in order to bring it out Okay, once that is done we'll be heading straight to replacing it but for, before that we're going to test this capacitor if truly this capacitor is faulty okay we are going to use the multimeter to check already you guys know how to read continuity those in my vip class so it beeps 
okay this video is um it's beeps okay i told you it had been made before so this capacitor beeps so it's very very faulty okay for replacing the capacitor let's check if it's still grounding okay the shot is gone okay the shot is gone so the capacitor is the one that is faulty so we're going to be remove replacing that particular capacitor okay once that is done i believe this mobile phone is going to turn on it has turned on i'm just i told you guys that this video is just for educational purpose okay so it has already turned on the experiment has been done already but i'm just bringing it up for you guys to watch and understand okay add some little flux and some lead on the parts where you are trying to replace the bad cap okay add some less so that when you are hitting it to just um solidify once okay to get so that once okay we'll be getting that bad cap from another donor board okay this is a donor board i'm getting the cap bad cap pasta from that um donor board okay so watch carefully um there's another factor you need to consider before replacing the capacitor you need to check if the one you're replacing it with is good or is faulty so we're using a multimeter to check the continuity please if you have not known the meaning of continuity you can join my vip class okay to master um what i mean by continuity then once i'm done i've tested the capacitor it's, it's very very okay so add some little flux to take it out okay then after taking it out we'll be replacing it putting it on the new um logic board okay so let's replace it, remove it first it's been heated with the workstation okay so the heat and temperature everything is being stable so after that we'll be getting our new board okay we have successfully removed it from the donor board so we'll be taking the donor board out okay our new uh, um, board we are working on will be brought to the pcb holder Okay, once that now uh, this is the board we're, we're working on okay so now this was the place to remove the capacitor so i'll be replacing this capacitor here but before then let's um, remove some black accessive that are they are like gum on this capacitor okay so once we are done we'll be replacing it straight So once that was done, the board was coupled to the um, the mobile phone to see if it will start working. So let me speed up the operation. Okay, once this coupling is successfully done, we'll be turning on the phone. I told you guys how this video has been done already. I'm just bringing it up here for you guys to know what a short circuit is, okay, on iPhone logic board. So, it's turning on. Once turned on, we'll test it to see if it will work and it will work, okay. So, if you have not joined my VIP class, you can do yourself good by joining, okay. You can actually um, chat me up on WhatsApp, okay, and I will reply to you immediately. Okay, if you're interested to join the vip class okay in there you learn most of the terminologies i use on this video has been explained on the vip class so till next time bye bye